My daughter goes to therapy. It helps to quiet the noise of being a teenager. It helps to bury some of the loss of losing a best friend at age 14. It helps to ground some of the soaring anxiety of a parent's high expectations. I, I sit in the false comfort of a lullaby lobby. It's a limbo with a leather couch, a carousel of coffees for a Keurig, matching mugs and Wi-Fi with enough bandwidth to process all of your worries because this place will make you worry. John Mayer plays from the corner of the room. It's like ironic thoughts set to soft guitar. Fathers, be good to your daughters. And I question, am I enough of a John Mayer song for her? Do black girls even need therapy? How many black women who used to be black girls wish they had therapy? How many wish their fathers would have considered therapy? How many wish their fathers would have considered being a father? As a father, I'm reminded of all my dark places. I'm reminded of all my dark places, and I wonder if I left a map. I wonder if I left a map with all of my suicide thoughts buried someplace in my baby's sadness. Something she found when the tears washed away the dirt used to cover it. All of those places marked to go and hurt yourself where no one else can find you if she finds it. This map. I hope this therapist helps her avoid all the dark places. I hope they don't ask me for help trying to navigate it because I don't have enough easy, calm, and soft guitar to give her a response and song. I have more just questions and comfortable questions, uncomfortable questions sitting in a limbo lobby, not drinking the coffee, not getting comfortable on the couch, trying to block out that John Mayer melody, just wondering if I made the right decision to even bring her here. Television has taught me that to be father to your daughter means making hard decisions, tough choices about how you want them to grow up. Because James Evans never took Thelma to therapy. Uncle Phil never took Ashley or Hillary to therapy. Black fathers don't take care of their daughters in this way. Instead, we hypertension, ghost story, father fable, and useless sage advice them with over, over sensing masculinity, trying to tell them allegories about their black skin and their natural hair and the rivers their ancestors waded in to get them to be strong, tell them about their strong bloodline and a fix it all Jesus that will make you unsad. The, the session only lasts an hour, but I need it to last a lifetime. I need it to lift her from a rock bottom, to raise her up in the morning when the depression is so heavy that not even her grandmother's black girl DNA, black girl magic stain in her DNA will be enough to drag her out of bed in the morning. I need her to know it's okay to not be okay. She walks out of the session, a smile etched in her face, and I want to trust that that's a breakthrough, but good fathers will always question and worry because I think that's what good fathers do. So I question, am I ever enough of a John Mayer song for this black girl?